So one of the things that's really exciting for me is this idea of using creativity as a way to explore computers and computation and programming more generally. So today I'm going to work with a new device from Critter and Guitari called the ETC. So what it is is what's called a video synthesizer. It's a self-contained little device that takes in an audio input and then runs these little tiny programs that you can write yourself in Python and Pygame um, and then those programs can use the audio coming in or some trigger events in order to adjust their visuals and adapt to uh, a company, or usually, usually a music performer um, and have these kind of live feedback effects. So in general you might have a projector behind you, you might have a big screen behind you while you're playing your music this little box would be outputting, taking in your audio, um, running your programs, uh, generating visuals, and then shooting them out by its uh, HDMI out. So the cool thing about the Critter and Guitar ETC is that it has this uh, web browser and programming environment you can use by hooking up a wireless dongle into the side of it. So today I'm going to walk through using this as kind of a creative programming environment for somebody learning to program. Um, we're going to start with this great little sketch from a really awesome talk from Zach Lieberman about what he calls poetic computation. And so if you look on the screen here you're going to see a freeze frame from this talk and it's very similar to what we have running on the um, on the Critter and Guitar ETC and so what we're going to do is we're going to write things to parameterize it. So if I change some of these knobs here, you're going to see the screen start to change and adapt to the new values that I change in our program. Um, and so with that, let's do one more. Let's see if we can get the color to change, which this is the color changer. Um, and you know, it's looking at a screen you're not going to get the exact colors they're they're much richer than what you see so yeah we're gonna jump in we're gonna adapt Zach Lieberman's code um, if you have the time I suggest you watch his talk it's a great talk and yeah we'll see how to program and have kind of this interactive device working um, in Python and Pygame so that's it let's jump into it <laughs> 